do you know how much restraint it took to not talk to this man for two weeks? I just got back from Odafest Calgary, and I did a hell of a lot of things in this game with you guys, and I know in my heart of hearts that I have good-ass medals. Let's earn them, shall we? Please, you're doing terrific. Here's a new medal. Honored Footprints. I'd make fun of you for looking down there, but you just want these cool-ass shoes, don't you? What do we got? Wonder Rider. That's for saving a lot, I know that. Hard cycling. This isn't all any of the stuff I was expecting. 30 passerby. I had my seat gear turned on and I got a lot more of you than I expected. Once getting about 70 people in one day. Not bad for a nine year old game on an outdated system that you have to have powered on and wireless enabled, which kills your battery in order to get people. We got Cruise Connoisseur, that is for doing uh, the Royal Unova 10 times. I did not grind on the Royal Unova, I just sat above deck and watched the sunset every single time. Don't need to do that off screen anymore. Talented cast member. I participated in exactly 10 musicals and yeah, that means that Worcester's notes on that were correct. New guide, I don't know what that one's for off the top of my head. Elite guide, I especially don't know what I'm so elite at, but apparently I was good at, but oh wow. <laughs> Thank me for my service. Shop starter, that's for Joint Avenue. Shop builder, that's also for Joint Avenue. Cop movie master. <laughs> On my flight to Canada, I played all of the good endings in Pokestar that I could possibly play with my current story progress so that we would have all the movies unlocked that we could whenever the inevitable Pokestar Studios video comes around. So I'm gonna be getting a lot for that right now. Robot Movie Master. I cannot wait to show you that one. That's probably my favorite one. 10 People Fun Fest. Scored 100 in a Fun Fest mission. We're still going, man. Achiever level one. I don't even know what that's for. You just passed the checkpoint at the Metal Rally office set for reaching the goal. So we have an award ceremony at the Metal Rally office in Castelia City. So please come to the office. We'll do just that. We're gonna rapid fire all the things that have changed in our world as a result of your actions. Let's see how much influence you've had on this video. First of all, I don't wish to make my guide on Joint Avenue just yet, but look at how much more developed this place is compared to the last time we saw it. Okay, did you see it? We're done. Whoever thought it was a good idea Pokemon breeders fight you every single time. Should be forced to eat a jar of toenail clippings, have the horn honked on them when they're under the hood of a car, and be forced to walk across 100 yards of Legos barefoot. I think I figured out why this is the case. I think that they're there to screw with you in FunFest missions because fighting trainers in the middle of a FunFest if you're not careful is a way to add tension to them. I'm not saying it's a good design decision, but I think that's why this happens. So hoping we could add another medal to our arsenal today because believe me, we are heavily armed with these things. Metal office is just down this road and in we go. Aw, you guys brought a clown for my party. How'd you know that I actually liked clowns? That's not typical. The metal man is going to ambush me. Hello, Blaze. Well, let's go straight to the ceremony. Blaze, you achieved great results in the medal rally. Great, well done, wonderful. To honor your achievement, I will present you with the participation prize medal. Aw, participation award. The medal rally is far from over. Keep up the good work and receive many more medals. See you. Yep, our reward for medals was more medals. I love it. We now have 67 medals. I'm gonna make scored 100 my favorite medal now because that one's pretty darn hard to get. I held an impromptu fun fest mission at one of our meetups and uh, we were able to get 181 points with 15 people locally. 
Yeah, and there's medals for even higher scores than 100. Mm-hmm. Well, in the medal office, thought we could call our mom on the X-Trans Cyber. Medal office? <laughs> so, the allure of getting medals as you hook to- <gasps> I am my mother's child! You can learn a lot in the metal office. <laughs> you sure can learn a lot about things that you probably would have never tried otherwise. That's why I love it so much. I celebrate the side activities. We've also got some unfinished business. I've had an awful lot of time to rate your nicknames for Trap Inch here. And believe me, I put it off until the last day before this recording because I was playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Some names that were suggested pretty widely were Pacha. Yes, the very name that I said I was gonna name it. You told me that it was gender neutral and that I probably could have done it, but it wasn't for the reasons that I wanted to name it Pacha, so I, I didn't really want to do that. Another was Eartha, after the late Eartha Kit, one of my favorite actresses who also acted in The Emperor's New Groove. Um, please listen to her song, Snuff Out the Light, if you haven't. It's incredible, please. I didn't really want to swap one Emperor's New Groove reference for another, so I didn't go for that. Another I liked was Macha, a play on Pacha, and also it turns into a green Pokemon, Macha, green tea, and all that stuff. But the name I've decided to go with is Jade, a name first suggested by Glacier0516 underscore. I hope I pronounced that right. But the comment that really sold me on going for it was by Leah W, pointing out that Flygon and Jade both share a green color, sure. Flygon is a dragon kind of noble, and Jade is associated with nobility. Okay. Most of all, though, the fact that Jade is formed as a result of fault lines and earthquakes, and that's sort of the main method of attack that we're gonna be going for here. So let's go with it. Jade's also just a cute girl's name. It does fit better, nicely done. A lot better than being a human named human, I'll tell you what. We are just about done with all of the catching uppery that I wanted to do, I promise it's not going to be I promised it wasn't gonna be long, and thus it isn't. I don't know if I did promise that actually. Um, I might be lying to you, but uh, it's not gonna be long regardless. The last place we wanna go to is the consensus office, I, th I think, a survey office. Uh, looks like you've answered all the questionnaires. Uh, no, I don't wanna do that. I need to talk to the professor. Statistics statistician office, that's what it was. Oh. I don't remember this place very much. Uh, we'll go ahead and check the request. Five or more people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, report the result, please. More people have Pokemon Black, too. This is helpful. Either version seems fun to play. Now oh, it's more difficult to choose. It's an excellent survey. Please, you've come up to my expectation. This is the compensation for the survey. Please accept this. I got a great ball. For playing with 100 people locally. You became B rank. For playing with 100 people locally. Accept a request. Uh, sure, we'll do a head count. Let's do, uh, more men or women. Ten people. Easy peasy. I'll check out on this again after we've done another meetup. I am back in town! I'd like to open the town map and show that we have a route to the east and a route to the west. Both of which with lots of exciting new things that we can take care of. And I'd like to go do those first as we could use all the training and team options that we can get. Besides, I think you'd like to hear about more Pokemon that you can use before a big battle. Let's get to training. Give your Pokemon this and get them into shape. We got a Macho Brace that doubles effort values but cuts speed in half. Yep, it'll grow stronger. More stats. Uh, come here. Two years ago, a Pokemon called Zoroark was hiding its lair in the Lost Lorn Forest on Route 16, but no longer. Coming out. This is called the Battle Train. All aboard! Uh, I'm not here for your cheap imitation of the Battle Subway. I did quite a few Battle Subway challenges to get a little bit of BP on the plane as well. Depot Agent Hank, you sending out a drill burr? Well, I'm gonna send out the Crusher. This is Aiden's first battle as a Vaporeon and I wanted to draw special attention to it. Aiden's nickname meaning. I didn't want to spoil it as it would kind of say what it was going to evolve into. But I named Aiden after Captain Aiden from the Pokemon anime. He's a firefighter and a character that I thought was kind of cool when I was a kid. He appears in two episodes, one in the Orange Islands and another one in Johto. And he's pretty relevant to the overall story despite being only in two episodes as he's the motivation for Ash's Squirtle to keep getting better. 
He's just a character that I kind of liked, and I thought naming a water type after a great firefighter would be kind of nice. I also have a lot of respect for firefighters in general and everything they do, so... I always like thanking them whenever I get the chance in public, and uh, yeah, I guess I'm doing it right here as well. Thank you, firefighters. Oh! Well, that happened a lot faster than I thought! So, we're gonna be doing a lot of battles here. Trap Inch is sort of the baby of the group right now, or I guess Jade now is the baby of the group. It cannot fight at its level, but it rarely has clutch Grand Slams due to its huge attack stat. It might not seem all that strong right now, but she will be our key to victory in the coming gym battle, so we need to get her trained up. I also kind of see her as the little guy because of her lonely nature. You know, kind of cute. On this route, I want to make you aware that Trebuchet and Mancino have stopped pretending they are version exclusives. Not cute, guys. Just thought some of you would like to know that if you were hoping to catch the other one that your version didn't have on Route 4. Let's get into it! Chinchino! I don't recommend this outright. It's not that I don't think you should ever use Chinchino. The Route 16 gene pool just isn't worth catching. Again, save it until later. You know what it does, learns a few weak moves to power up a technician. Stay tuned for a better Chinchino. Lipered! This is a fast Pokemon that doesn't really know what it wants to do with that speed. 88 offense isn't bad, but not great, and it falls over if you blow on it. Really, the more likely purpose for this is getting off status moves first, but all it learns for the longest time is Torment, Thunder Wave, and... Attract? I like U-Turn from the Battle Subway for it, I guess. It's just such a weird Pokemon that goes first, but doesn't do enough with that initiative. No way to raise attack outside of the lackluster Hone Claws, and its strongest dark move before level 43 is 50 power. Yes, TMs included. If you must raise it, tutor foul play onto it. That's the only way it'll do great damage. Its abilities suck too. Oh, you! We meet again! Imolga! There has never been a more annoying Pokemon to fight, and I stand by that! The electric type only benefits flying by adding resistances at no extra cost. The static ability makes foes think twice before just smacking it and seeing what happens, further making it awkward to move against. It's lightning fast, and we have Thunder Wave, which is great because it doesn't learn other paralyzing moves for ages. For attacks, it gets Electro Ball, which is based on difference in speed, perfect for how much of a quickster it is, and how much it scores paralysis. Beyond that, it functions as a team support by using Light Screen or Tailwind at the start of a turn, while freeing up your ally to use Earthquake in doubles. It's mainly a utility Pokemon and an annoyer, because its stats other than speed aren't that great, but it has that type to fall back on. Notably, it learns the uncommon Acrobatics, which offsets the weak attack a bit if you're willing to go with no held item, or maybe a consumable held item that gets used up in the middle of a fight. That, Electro Ball, and two status moves are probably what it'll end up with. Really, really fun Pokemon. Gothita, found only in Black 2. Unova is land of bulky psychic types, and this is one of those. Its ability is useless. I wish it had Shadow Tag, but alas. It's also about to learn Psy Shock, an 80 power special psychic type move that hits with the opponent's physical defense in the calculation, so it's extremely flexible in being able to do neutral damage well. Foul Play is also a good tutor move that helps out with this. Signal Beam is worth considering too. Really, it takes attacks, does a decent job at attacking back for whatever the opponent's stats don't want you to use. If it needs filler moves, there's lots of great statuses like Thunder Wave and Light Screen, though it's not exactly quick at laying them down. Speaking of not being quick, it's time to evolve as a bit long. In all, certainly a capable Pokemon, but it's hard to ignore the competition of Sigilyph, Espeon, and Solosis, found in white only. Ah, uh, Solosis. This teeny little guy is the bulky psychic type of its version, blessed with the beautiful magic guard. Which, by the way, is just a factually better version of its other ability. It starts with a boatload of special attack. We're talking like Abra levels here. These traits make it a perfect user of the Life Orb from the Battle Subway. In life, it grows into a super slow Pokemon with tons of HP, then Mind Blast when it gets to move. This next move might not be easily accessible, but we are technically able to get Trick Room within the main story, and this is probably the best Trick Room user available. Trick Room reverses the turn order, making it so the slowest moves first, and with 30 speed playing up against the big boys, almost nothing beats it. It's extremely likely to survive one turn so it can set it up, then just blast away the wall. Solosis definitely has its life more in order and knows what it wants to be. Ouch. 
Gothita lost the most likely to succeed award against a single cell to organism. Let's do this. Pignati tried to learn. Please stop. Please stop delaying the inevitable. It's the worst. I'm not even a speedrunner, and I see the value in not doing that. Uh, Pignati tried to learn takedown during those battles, and as we established, return is the superior move to takedown. It is more power, and it is more accurate, meaning it's just takedowner. I gained Arceus experience points right there. And that's every trainer on this route gone. Marvelous bridge, truly marvelous, and also a bridge. <gasps> Let's go see. No matter the time or place, I have my umbrella at the ready. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I always keep one in my car for that reason. Oh, awesome, that just made my day. This vending machine gave me an extra drink for free. I'll share my spoils with you, otherwise I'll burst with joy. Too bad you're not a robot, otherwise this would have counted as a medal. If I keep getting extra drinks, I'll be rich. Rich, I say. Let's try, I'll give it a few attempts. This guy said this machine is hot, I wanna make an attempt. Soda pop. Two, three. I think I'll go to five, maybe. Got tons of money, I can do this. I can be here all day, I am fabulously wealthy. You did it once, you can do it again, machine. Okay, I'm going for a lot more than five because I'm stubborn now. Not that I would complain about an episode dedicated to getting a petty medal, but you know, I know there's more people besides me that watch the anything room. Last one, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it wasn't meant to be. I decided to not buy a drink like a loser. What? Oh no, is the elevator broken? Uh, I just had an experience where elevator doors opened like two inches and then they slammed shut again and then the, the voice was like, we are experiencing technical difficulties, please wait, which is the last thing you want to hear on a freaking elevator. It was terrifying. I, oh, there's one more trainer out here. What do you got? What do you got, buddy? Like your song, a spot of greenery growing right next to a big city. Truly an oasis. I feel so refreshed. And now I'd like to battle. Good one, good one, good one, good one. A lot of one Pokemon trainers. Oh, watch. <laughs> the fact that you have made it this far with only one Pokemon on your team and it's a watch hug. I salute you, good sir. I, I appreciate the hustle and the tenaciousness. It's... Please go catch some other Pokemon. You have one of the best Pokemon for catching others now. Just don't use a watch. Oh, wow. Uh, you got Super Fang. You're gonna do Hypnosis next turn, buddy. Still faster. Yeah, you... Wow. Uh... Watch our guest here. Please nerf. Okay, you're nerfed. Being dead is pretty nerfed, you know. Your attack stat goes to zero, but I guess you can't be hurt anymore, at least. Got rock, rock slide? Excuse me, rock. Freaking 50 power, 80. Get that out of here, man. Rock slide is just rock tumor. No, that's terrible, no, no. I meant like Rock Tomb ER saying that it was more Rock Tomb than Rock Tomb. That did not go over well. Uh, let's uh, forget it. Let's just forget about that and teach Cut to our Strutley. We gotta do that. Some of you were saying it's a crime to use this thing as an HM user because of how strong it is in battle. And I, I agree it's strong in battle, but come on. I'm the guy who's used a, a legendary Pokemon on the box art as an HM user. It happened once. I'm not above doing it for this thing. Thanks to Strutley, we get a heal ball. <laughs> Okay, maybe it is a war crime that I'm doing that. There's one Pokemon in this route that I would like to catch. And it is not you. It's also not for a team member, it's just for a purpose that I have later on. Hey, in the rustling grass, it's Imolga. You're a Pokemon that I would like to have on my side. Uh, I just, it just happens with you, man. You just, you love being annoying with that, with that stupid grin on your face the entire time. You just, you know how annoying you are. You know how annoying you are. Let's toss you in a heel ball. I can think of no greater insult than having to live in one of those things. Sorry, McFly. There we are. Amolga was caught. 
It glides on the outstretched membrane while it's sho while shocked foes with, shocked foes with electricity stored in the pouches on its cheeks. I was thinking of naming you Molga, and then I thought that was kind of boring, so I went for Manga. <laughs> Another medal? You shouldn't have! Oh. There's a song I'm betting 95% of you have never heard outside of the OST. <laughs> oh! Wait, rookie medalist? Wait, 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 wait. I thought the participation prize was for getting 50 medals. A medal for medal rally participants who achieved certain results and reached a goal. A medal that commemorate the advance to rookie rank as a result of constant efforts in the medal rally. Are these the same metal? I don't know why I'm asking this. You already know the answer to it because I had on-screen graphics showing it. Some of you were complimenting this on-screen graphics saying you thought they were part of the game, and I appreciate that a lot, and I'm sure the designer who made them also does too, because we always strive to make things that look like they could be a part of the game world as best we can. Back we go! That was good. Wait, 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 I'm thinking like this isn't a, the game that it is. This, at long last, is our first chance to use strength on anything. There was no boulder accessible prior to this that long after it was explained to us. It's... I don't really get why they give it to you when you, they do. I already complained about this much, but it bears repeating now that you've seen just how long it's taken to do. McFlag, you're at level 28? Jade's coming along nicely. I cannot wait to see how much we get from all that. For using strength, we got TM66 Payback, a dark type physical move that does more damage if you've already been attacked that turn, but it doesn't have any kind of modifier on priority. Generally good in a slow Pokemon. No! It has 10 speed, 10. Please, man, I wanted to be able to learn that. So on to what I was actually about to do. Welcome to Lost Lorne Forest, home of a Pokemon breeder. And you know how I feel about those guys. Uh, you gonna turn, buddy? You're a spinner, you gonna turn? Okay, you're gonna turn that way, and you're gonna turn forward, and I'm gonna walk by you, and I'm gonna get the item. Please, thank you. Uh, you ass! You ass! Freaking Pokemon breeders, man. This battle background is nice. I haven't been praising the battle backgrounds nearly enough, especially in Pokestar Studios. A lot of them have been very detailed. Um, I like how you have modeled grass around instead of it just being a flat texture. It's beautiful for the hardware. Just such a nice thing. The way they use lighting, the background being darker with this being a forest and everything. There's so much variance to it all, and it just came together in such a neat way. It looks way better than it had in the past. And you got a Lifer. Yes, excellent. In that last battle, it used Furious Wipes on me four times, a Lifer did, and uh, didn't get paralyzed a single time. Fake out. Flinch and couldn't move. Low kick? I'm faster than a Lifer. Whoa, that did a lot. Torment, if there was ever a fitting, if there was ever a fitting move for a Pokemon breeder to have, it's Torment. Just get rid of it, man. Get that out of here. Jade grew to level 26. We're never going to beat that rock slide level up. That is so, so good. All right, our item is an Ultra Ball. Thank you. Not gonna fall for that dirt mound. Don't need to use another repel. Instead, we'll go up, talk to you. Hi, trainer, you have a Pokedex, I see. I'm a traveler. I enjoy trekking around the world and talking with various people. By the way, do you know a Pokemon called Zoroark? Indeed I do. Great. Are you armed with the knowledge that it won't trick you? It's your choice to be tr to trust it and be tricked, or to live in doubt. I enjoyed talking with you. This is a small present. TM95 Snarl! They say Zoroark settled around in here around two, uh, about two years ago. It changed the appearance of this grass along with its illusion ability and tricked people in Pokemon. It's an outrageous rumor, but a rumor has some truth in it. Every rumor has a kernel of truth to it. That is so freaking freaky. It doesn't matter where we run, we cannot find it again. It just runs off. See that guy up on top of that uh, ledge? We can't get up there yet. 
but there are a fair few trainers here, and what I'd like to do now is the unthinkable. We're going to turn on the sea gear. Go to our passerby list. Yeah, there's 96. And I've received some new powers. We'll turn on the experience. <laughs> I have 489 pass orbs and I need three to activate this. That's incredible. We'll activate that, get more experience points from the battles that we are about to do and the Pokemon that we are about to meet. Let's get into the many, many new Pokemon in Lost Lorn Forest. And believe me, they're gonna be hard to encounter all of them. So let's get to it. Your name's Forest. Roselia! Behold, a rare, fast grass poison type. What? It's not? Okay, that's better, that's better. Evolution is pretty immediate and just immediate if you've been lucky with the dust clouds. As a Roselia, it's still pretty hardy, able to use the newly buffed Giga Drain and learning toxic spikes. Once it's got those, feel free to use the stone at any time unless you want Petal Dance, and I don't. Not that I plan on using it or anything. You can already see what makes it interesting. Nice special stats, nice speed, natural cure is the ability that I would pick. With little exception, it uses grass and poison moves, but it's so good at it that do you really need a lot else? Found rarely in rustling grass is Rose Raid! Wow, these evolutions are getting more immediate by the second. It's so easy to get Rose Raid outside of this anyway that it's not worth grinding for, but it just happens to show its mask around you. Toxic Spikes is the only big thing it would miss out on being caught in the wild. Giga Drain can't be taught, it just costs resources. Combi! <laughs> bad, bad, bad! No stat over 42 other than speed when it's fully evolved. One ability that does nothing. Bug flying is such an awful and overdone type, and I will list its entire move pool to you right now. Sweet Scent, Gust, Bug Bite, Bug Buzz, Endeavor, Snore, Tailwind. You might just be the worst Pokemon of all time. If it's a male combi. This all only applies to male combis, which every year, many a young trainer sets out into the world and learns the harshness of the real world when they raise one of these and wonder, okay, it's level 40, when does this thing evolve? If it's female, it evolves right away into Vespiquen, or it can be caught in rustling grass. All that said, bug flying wall with no speed is just self-defeating in many ways, even if pressure is nice for stall fests. And it still doesn't learn all that many moves. It's bug moves, flying moves, and power jam. Within that bug type exists three signature moves. It summons a bee colony to attack order, a 90 power physical bug move, defend order to increase defense and special defense, and heal order to heal half of its max HP. Attack order is pretty much the only thing that's worthwhile as long as you can use items anyway. Vespiquen is usable and all, has some interesting, unique traits, but I wouldn't call it mind-blowing. I interrupt your regularly scheduled Pokemon bio for a Pecha Berry. No, I have a better reason than that, I promise. We're going to activate ever more past powers. I want the lucky power, which increases the encounter rates of rare Pokemon. Wait, I have one second left on my EXP power when I did that, seriously. Thank you. Yep. We're also gonna activate the exploring power to make Phenomenon more Commonon. Then we activate some super repels, and we're just gonna run back and forth for a while because there's a specific Pokemon here that I would like to catch that is rather difficult indeed. While we're doing that... Swad Swad Loon, a Swad Swad Loon, yeah, yeah, yeah. A type with great coverage, but plenty of weaknesses. Nose Bug Buzz and Razor Leaf, so there's no worry about it doing its job as soon as it's caught. Swarm is the ability to get, as it'll probably see it use from it more often. Swadloon herself doesn't get a lot of moves, but that's okay. Between the bike and Soothe Bell, that sounds like a painful place to be, but I'm trying to say it'll evolve pretty much at will and it's capable of learning more. And evolve it does into Levani, which can found in the rustling grass around here. The attack and speed are terrific, furthering how strong but fragile this Pokemon is. Mostly uses grass and bug moves with Shadow Claw and sometimes something else to fill it. Every Levani ends up following the template, but it's not hard to see why. It just kind of works, and is a prime example of Unova having good bugs. Also, yeah, you can find wild Swadloons, but no Whirlipedes. <laughs> Instead, we move on to the white exclusive, Pinsir! It's a bug-o-beef. 
decent physical bulk, great attack, lots of coverage between it using bug fighting and ground, plus Mold Breaker being a good ability for ground type users. Remember that Mold Breaker only nullifies abilities and not types, so it's able to earthquake through levitate, but not flying types. Pinsir just goes out there, swords dances, pounds through almost everything, and takes damage well. The worst thing it has going on is its speed. It's just barely too slow to move before most things and ends up taking damage a little more often than it would if it was just a teensy bit faster. But for a bug, you can do a lot worse. Black 2 gets Heracross! It's a beefo bug! Because it's fighting type. This is basically Pinsir, but with special bulk and a fighting type thrown in as a bonus. Heracross utterly flips the table with its huge attack. Guts is a strong ability that can be activated at will with the Flame Orb from the subway. In just one level, it gets Brick Break and then Close Combat to replace it soon after. Eventually, once Megahorn shows up, that's both stab moves at 120 power, not to mention the rock moves it can get to combat weaknesses. On the note of weaknesses, speed being just a little too low is, again, the worst thing about this bug. But really, it's a small price to pay for just working with it and sending it out at opportune moments. It wrecks house. Found rarely in rustling grass only, Pansage! I don't know why, but as much as I like these guys in concept, I just have a strong dislike for the elemental monkeys. Pansage evolves with a leaf stone so it can technically go out right away and become a decent grass cannon. A sad move that it misses out on is Crunch, which is not available until the level 40s unless it stays a Pansage. Simi Sage is a mixed attacker, but with horrible defensive type and frailty to match. I won't influence your decision for a moveset, it learns a lot of attacks on both fronts, and there's multiple viable sets, but Seed Bomb is probably the best it's gonna find there. As an aside, Gluttony is a lame ability outside of Versus, since a lot of good berries are hard to get and are gone for good after one use. It might be hard to slot into an existing roster, and yeah, I like Leaf Annie better, but it's okay. You're okay. Pansir! My animosity is strongest with you, Pansir. Same stats, same ability, same advice regarding evolution, different type. Let's get in my favorite thing about Pansir. I'm happy to report that thanks to Move Tutors existing, this means that both Fire Monkey Pokemon learn Gunk Shot! As similar as it is to Simi Sage, I think it's a bit more lacking. It's just a little weaker due to Flame Burst and Fire Punch being what it's stuck with for ages, but at the end of the long wait, it does get some pretty decent fire moves. Thank Farfetch that it doesn't start with Incinerate and at least gets Flame Burst. It's so laughably weak with Incinerate. I don't really wish I could be nicer to Pansir because I think it's lame. But it is still a shame that Nasty Plot is locked away when it normally is the huge thing that sets it apart from other fire types. Won't be getting it in this lifetime. Panpour! Same stats, same ability, same evolution, same lack of Nasty Plot. Starting move is Scald, an 80 power special water move with a chance to burn! This is amazing and worth keeping it even after it learns higher power moves, which it will in no time at all, by the way. Mainly uses water, ice, and one of the two other good moves it has access to. This is probably overall the best of the mixed monkeys. There aren't very many speedy water types, and while it's not quite as goldy in stats as Vaporeon, its move variety is something to make up for it. Side note, Panpour learns Cut, Surf, Waterfall, and Dive, so it's a great filler HM user for someone who isn't carrying a water type. I've run into a few Amolgas and a Pansage. Pansage wasn't the one that I wanted to catch, but finding the specific monkey you want takes forever, and the Pansage could be useful for some purpose in the future, and I just really didn't want to snub it while it was there. Just because it is so rare, so I caught it just because of that. Pokemon that I want, however. <laughs> Another Pansage after what I just got done doing. <laughs> Rose Raid? Not what I hope to find. Gosh, maybe I should catch you because you're kind of unusual. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Why not? You look good in a great ball. I'm not catching you for any reason other than just the fact that it's amusing to me that I actually encountered you. <laughs> Got some blue roses and some red roses. Thought it was fitting.
Luring prey with a sweet scent, it uses poison whips on its arms to poison bind and finish off the prey. Violet is a type of flower and you're also violent. Violent is what you are, and it also sounds like a flower. Bad boar! Yeah! I will tell you, I have heard the same story again and again from different people throughout my life about this place. And it's also happened to me. People will go in here hoping to get the elemental monkeys for whatever purposes they have, completed the Pokedex, what have you. In my case, wanting a good HM user. And they will just run into the same monkey over and over and over again, even though they have identical odds. And they're here for hours looking for the one that they can never find. Luckily for me, it was Pansier, and he's freaking useless. I wanted Panpour to be a good HM user that could pair well with Vaporeon so we could free up its moves and not have to teach it so many useless attacks. The spray Pokemon, the water stored in the tuft on its head is full of nutrients. It waters plants with it using its tail. You're also just my favorite of the three. So you're gonna be using cut, a spoiler, and a spoiler. We got, um, so you're gonna be, uh, curf, no, not cure, curf, curf, erf, I've curf for five. <laughs> I almost went with kerfuffle because it sounded like that's what it was shaping up to. And just in time for our powers to wear off. I hope you've seen the value of the side modes and how the intra link and pass powers and all that stuff can be really valuable. That enabled me to encounter that panpour that I wanted for something way, way faster than I would have been able to otherwise. And it's all side of the game I just don't see talked about much or considered as a thing that could make your life easier. I've watched a lot of challenge runs in my day and they don't really take advantage of this kind of stuff. Anyway, that's a whole new route explored and a whole lot of bigness added to our Unova. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we're gonna explore the route out to the west, as well as see something pretty big that we didn't get to see in the Lost Lorne Forest. That is, well, you know, relevant to the thing that we're gonna be seeing out on Route 5. See you guys then! Another medal? Another medal? Another medal? Pass power up up. <laughs>